Back again with the foolishness, I am going to start watching episode 3 of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, from what I've last watched, apparently my man Shinji has just moved in with Masato. Uh, they met a penguin who lives in the refrigerator. Honestly, that was the highlight of the episode for me, so I'm going to just leave it off with that. So instead of wasting y'all time, I'm going to just hit play. This man, like, just submerged into a steel coffin. Too much symbolism for my brain to handle. Oh, it's a simulation. Oh, he's so dead inside. This man got the Call of Duty set. He got the... Oh, it's not even outside. It's in a, a cubicle. A space cubicle. You know, to make things more epic, gotta put space in front of it. Therefore, you can have a space cubicle, and your space cubicle, you can have a space hot dog, and also with your space hot dog, you can have some space Coca-Cola, man. I'm a spaceman living my space dreams. I'm weird, I know, I'm sorry. Hello and good morning. You know she hates her life. Today, Thursday? Take out the burnable garbage. Burnable garbage. Yes, ma'am. If yo, if they legit got a garbage dump that burns the trash yeah. at your doorstep, have a nice day. I will do absolutely nothing of the sort. I'm just going to imagine. I wish I had that too. New phone. Who this? Horrible. Uh, you mean Shinji, right? See, man, what is with the boyfriend stuff? The boy is like. Prepubescent teenager. Dang, that hit. That that hit. Mm. Did you get caught up in that thing with the giant robot? Possibly. My little sister got buried under the rubble. She's alive, but she's in the hospital. Dang, that's my depressing. Old man and my uncle are at their labs all the time, and they, they can't tear themselves away from their work. Prepare to hear me say the word depressing a lot. So any of you who want to do a drinking game, I advise against it because you might just die. Then it'll be even more depressing. Oh, the icy continent melted instantaneously. What? Water levels rose in the no more slushies, man. I'm pretty sure we get our ice slush for slushies from Antarctica, right? Yeah, man, I read in a Wikipedia article. Our slushies come from Antarctica. So that means y'all probably drinking penguin piss. And they tell you it's lemon lime. Dang. Girl, ain't nobody listen to you. You sit down. Special attacks. They treat this like it's a video game. Uh. Where's that Call of Duty reference I just made out earlier? Which brings me to. I swear, if this whole series got me questioning myself by the end of it. Punch and shit. Why? Sorry about that newbie. Why? But I had to punch you at least once, you know, just to settle the score with you. Sorry about that. He's a little emotional. His kid sister got hurt in that battle. That's just how uh, it is with him. I mean, I get it. But I don't. I don't pilot that thing because I want to. He just said he doesn't. At that point, Sinji, you have my dual diligence. No, that's not it. You have my permission to punch him afterwards. The first hit, that's on you. The second one, oh, you got, mm, got to kick him into places that involves phallic symbols. This thing looks like a crab. Oh, it is a crab. Oh, shellfish. Oh, and I said dinner's ready. Ah, topical. Kill the giant shrimp robot monster thing. 
Get yourself your dinner for later. You can feed a whole family with that giant crawfish. The son of the police. Ooh, ooh. This is the son of the police. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the buildings are going down right now. <laughs> Gotta get low, 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 low. She got the apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. <clears throat> Sorry. Fur. It must be horrible living under such high stress situations like this in the city. It has to be. You just can't. All you should have left a long time ago with those other group of people. But why stay? That thing looks like a. Last time they returned took 15 years. But I'm not gonna say. Only three weeks between the angel attacks. Not very considerate of others, is it? In fact, I'm gonna just show you the picture of it. Boom! Let your imagination wander. Get in the chopper! What a waste of taxpayer money. You can say that a lot about a lot of that in certain situations in current times. We don't need them to tell us to launch our Ava. You got a giant purple robot going against another giant purple robot. It's perfect. Man, what's with this purple on purple violence, man? Can't we all just get along? Can we all just hold hands and sing Kumbaya? Kumbaya, kum kumbaya. Oh, right. My God, shoes off. Why this man toes looking like they've been through the dryer? They've been through a washing machine. You know, you should have done that before. They just look wet. They look wet and gnarly. You know that smell you get when you leave your clothes in the washing machine for too long? Then you take it out. I bet that's what his feet smell like. You see, my man's a realist. I need to find out what his name is, cause he he knows. Yeah, he's into conspiracy theories, but he he, he knows he knows stuff. He's going to do it exactly wrong, and he's going to get it bad, bad, get it real bad. That's how that usually goes. Do do as we practice, and the whole complete opposite happens in the heat of the situation. Oh, it is the heat of the situation. Okay, never mind. Beatdown you gave him must have really shook him up. How is this my fault? You punched him twice. Oh snap! Oh god! This whole fight slaps, and nothing even happened yet. This man got the Wonder Woman Themyscira whips. He finna tell the truth about how he is pissing his pants right now. I thought she said death report. I'm like. <laughs> Can't say, can't give too much of a report. <laughs> you dead, man. Oh, oh, now you want to cry. Punch my man in the face twice. Now you want to, oh my god, same by Shinji. You what? You a butt and your friend's a butt. Okay, maybe my, my conspiracy theorist brother, he's okay. Ah! <laughs> Another phallic symbol. Come on, Shinji. You take that shrimp and you put it in your sushi. Now disengage. Get yourself some fried tempura. Oh, are they in the cockpit with him? Oh, that's a death knell if I heard any. Well, I haven't, but I would assume that's what it sounds like. A 14-year-old prepubescent boy is screaming. Or I think he's 14 at least. Y'all feel free to correct me in the comments section, because I honestly can't remember. Oh, he jacked up. You see what he was trying to tell you now, bully? He didn't want to be here. Doesn't want to do this. Hates this, but he has to do it. Oh yeah, you swing first, ask questions later. Oh, nice rain effects. 
Sounds like a good loop for a lo-fi video. It's been three days, huh? Since they came down on us like a ton of bricks? It's been three days that he hasn't shown up at school. He who? Who do you think? The newbie. Makes me wonder what he's up to. Worried about him? I'm not worried. Woo! Oh my god! Hold up, pause. Okay, that's a lot to unpack. I feel like this whole show, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to say it again. It is going to go down a very tumultuous dark hole. This boy has gone through... Um, how do I even, how do I even phrase this? With an inkling of understanding. As to not to make myself sound inane. Um. So. He's got new friends. He actually is going to start using his phone now. That's good. He's going to need a good emotional support group. Aside from the 29 year old lady who he's bunking with right now. Although she's going to have his back. Hopefully fingers crossed. He does need people his own age to chill with. Well like somewhere around. Like at least yeah. Because if he doesn't. Then he is going to lose himself. I think that's like this show. <laughs> the people who need to watch this show will probably never watch it. Because as you get older, you I won't say that somebody is based on their connections. Because if you happen to come across people that you don't necessarily like, you can always cut off. But it's so much harder to do that. Which is why a lot of people say that a lot of the relations that you make are good no nah, no that's not true it's not um long story short everybody goes at their own pace and since he's handling a giant robot he's going to need this i think this is a good episode to show just how young he is he's he is emotionally impressionable he holds himself at a distance. He holds himself at bay as to not to get himself hurt and to not hurt others around him. But that same positioning almost caused him to get himself killed earlier when those two boys got caught underneath this robot. And he was like, should I do something? Should I not? Because if I don't, they're going to die and I'm going to die in the process. There is a development that's going to have to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen, but right now we're seeing like, I want to say like the id of this man's psyche. He is, he is almost as if he's trying to dictate himself through the help of a super ego that doesn't necessarily, I guess, is not all there. Well, like, I feel as if a lot of these things is because he's being driven by his, like, I want to say his subconscious right now. And with him talking to himself, with him not listening to authority when he's in his cockpit and he's going off the bat and he's like, he's trying not to run. As he said before, he's not trying to run away. It's almost as if he's in like this, like a trance, like a, like he's sleepwalking or should I say sleep piloting. That's a very dangerous thing. Don't do that people. But he's trying to work himself through. The essence of his internal thoughts, one of which is him harboring certain grievances toward his father, while the other one is like, hey man, I'm a kid, and you got me killing robots from outer space, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I could be, why am I so not brought up on this? I'm going to have to get back to this later. Long story short, this is a really good episode, and it's only going to get better from here. And I need to see my, my boy Shinji's emotional develop as well, too. Because he just can't stay stunted. He can't. I don't think that's going to happen. But why do I feel like it is? I'm torn, man. I'm rip torn. Rip torn. Yeah, that shirt's not ripping. Bye, y'all. <laughs>